Hi, uh, I'm Victor uh, Kolobo, and today I'll talk to you about uh, the download rate of homophobic signature, and this is a joint work with Ingrid Fosley, Yuval Ishai, and Mary Wooders. So consider uh, the following uh, application of fully homomorphic encryption. Suppose that Alice has some secret input X, and she wants to delegate the computation of some function F on her input to a server, uh, such that uh, then Bob will be able to learn uh, the value of f of x. So the way she can do it, she can just encrypt uh, her secret uh, using the fully homomorphic encryption, have the server perform the computation on the ciphertext, and then send it to Bob, who can decrypt it uh, using the secret key. Now, obviously, uh, for this... Uh, a scenario we want uh, the ciphertext to hide Alice's input uh, from the server. And also for the problem to be non-trivial, we want some sort of compactness in the sense that the decryption function should be uh, much simpler uh, than the function description. And this is because otherwise the server could just send the encryption of X to Bob together with a description of F. Now, HSS can be viewed as a distributed variant of FHE, where instead of encrypting the input, we secret share it uh, between a, a group of servers. And <coughs> here we'll say that the HSS uh, satisfies uh, or has T privacy if any collusion of, uh, of size T or less uh, learns nothing about the secret input. Now, uh, the downside of HSS compared to FHE is that we need to assume that there are multiple non-colluding servers, but for uh, many applications, this is not an issue. And as a plus, we get uh, good efficiency features such as uh, HSS uh, commonly has additive reconstruction, which is uh, it implies that the reconstruction algorithm is very simple. It just uh, adds together all the output shells. And also, you don't need to worry about public and secret keys. Uh, in addition, HSS, uh, unlike FHE, can exist with information theoretic security uh, for simple functions F. Now, uh, consider the following scenario uh, of computation on secret shell data. Suppose we have clients and servers, and the clients upload uh, their data in a secret manner, uh, in a secret shared manner uh, to the servers. And in return, they get some statistical uh, information which depends on all of the inputs. Uh, in, a, uh, in addition, consider another uh, scenario where uh, there is some database D of records of length L bits, uh, which is replicated among uh, a group of servers, and the client wants to secretly recover uh, the record DI, and uh, this is known as private information retrieval, and an example of this could be uh, a privately viewing uh, movies. And uh, private information retrieval can also be cast in the HSS framework if we view the database as the truth table of some function. Now, in both of these scenarios, uh, either the first one uh, where we can have many uh, statistical estimates that we want to compute, or the second scenario where uh, we can view each bit of the output as a separate function, uh, so in both of these scenarios, we can have many uh, possible computations. So in, in general, in this work, uh, our motivation is large-scale computation on secret shared inputs. And the primary goal of this work is to try and minimize the total download cost uh, for the client. So as an example, consider an HSS for the product of two field elements. Uh, which can be done using Shamir's secret channel. So suppose we have two clients with inputs A and B and three servers. The clients can use Shamir's secret channel uh, between the servers. And this is done by just having each client uh, choose a random line 
whose in intersection with the y-axis is uh, its input and send the server uh, one evaluation point of that line. Uh, then to proceed with the computation, the servers can just locally multiply their shares. So now uh, the servers hold uh, evaluation points of the parabola whose intersection with the y-axis is A times B. And by multiplying with the, by the appropriate Lagrange uh, multipliers and adding all the output shares together, we can recover the product of uh, A and B. And uh, note that uh, this scheme has a download rate of one third. And in general, for so-called additive HSS, uh, which means that the HSS has an additive reconstruction, uh, the rate we get is one over the number of servers. So then uh, this begs the question, can we do better if we want to perform, if we're allowed to perform multiple products, so A1 times B1, A2 times B2, and uh, so forth? And the answer to that is yes. Uh, we can do that with the so-called Pechamir uh, scheme, which approaches rate one half as the number of servers uh, grows to infinity. And the way this works is that now each client uh, chooses a random parabola uh, which passes at two points corresponding to the client's inputs. And the product of these two parabolas is a degree for a polynomial. So we need five servers to be able to recover this degree for polynomial and learn our uh, products. But then, uh, as previously mentioned, this only approaches rate half. And the question still remains whether we can approach rate one as the number of, server, number of servers increases. So moving on to our results, first, in the first part of our results, we show that a, a, a construction for an optimal download linear HSS for low degree polynomials. So here, optimal download means that we have both a positive and negative uh, result. And linear HSS just means that both the share and reconstruction algorithms are linear functions. And indeed, we show that for T private K server HSS and for degree D polynomials, the best possible rate is one minus DT over K. And as an application, we show, we construct a T private K server PIR a protocol for N size databases such that the upload cost is N to the one over D. And the download rate is one minus dt over k. Now compare this to the optimal uh, known rate for PIR, for PIR, where the upload cost now is linear uh, in the database size. Then the optimal known rate is one minus t uh, over k divided by one minus t over k to the power of n, the database size. And just to give you a few data points, even for a database of size 10, uh, this uh, difference in rate is not uh, significant. And uh, if instead we want to improve the upload cost of the pair scheme, then uh, in the following example, the rate drops from uh, 0 0.6, uh, sorry, from 0 0.8 to 0 0.6. But uh, on the flip side, uh, we get savings in the upload cost by two orders of magnitude. Now, uh, to uh, the second part of our results, we obtain a, a rate amplification technique for additive HSS, uh, which can be done uh, in a black box manner. So a first variant of this result, uh, in the first variant of this result, we show that a fully private k 2 t server additive HSS for some function class F can be converted to a T private K server HSS for L independent evaluations of that function class with rate one minus T over K. And, and this is the best we can do uh, using a black box approach because uh, simple information theoretic arguments shows that for some function classes, uh, for example, those where there is a function which attains all possible y values, uh, then this is the best rate possible. And of course, this does not contradict 
ב-PIR result, the PIR optimal rate result from before, because there we can have record sizes which are significantly longer than the database size. And as a corollary, we obtain high rate HSS a scheme for circuits for LWE. Now, uh, moving on to a second variant of uh, this black box approach, we show how to uh, convert a one private two server additive HSS from some function class to a one private K server HSS uh, with rate one minus one over K. This is somewhat surprising because here uh, it's sufficient to uh, start from a one private two server HSS. Uh, to obtain uh, an HSS scheme with optimal rate. And as a corollary, we obtain practical high rate PIR from one way functions. And uh, compare, this is compared to previous high rate PIR constructions from stronger uh, assumptions such as LWE or DDH. Of course, in these constructions, uh, we only require one server. But the downside is that the record length L needs to grow like a polynomial in the security parameter, while our result uh, gives a sort of a different flavor of high rate PIR in that the record length can be independent of the security parameter, it just depends on the number of servers. As a second corollary, we get high rate uh, HSS for uh, branch programs from DDH or DCR. And uh, moving on to a third variant of this black box approach, we show how to start from some uh, additive HSS and convert it to uh, an HSS with the same amount of privacy uh, and K servers, such that the rate is one minus uh, one over theta of square root of K. And the main motivation here is to obtain a, a PIR a protocol for and size databases where the upload cost is sub-polynomial and n. And since these uh, PIR constructions are, uh, uh, don't follow from uh, HSS for low degree polynomials, here we opted to use uh, the black box approach to obtain a construction with uh, a construction for PIR where the rate uh, approaches one. Uh, finally, moving on to our third uh, part of our results, we show how to uh, utilize nonlinearity to amplify the rate of HSS. So in the previous uh, two parts, we had to increase the number of servers to increase the download rate uh, of our HSS scheme. And this begs the question whether we can do, we can somehow increase the rate without increasing the number of servers. And the main observation here is that the output shells of an HSS are non-uniform and correlated. So uh, one can draw inspiration from the distributed source coding uh, literature. Unfortunately, uh, syntactically, we cannot apply the classical Slepian Wolf coding uh, result uh, because the servers don't know the distribution of the output shells due to the privacy requirement of HSS. Uh, but nevertheless, we obtain a Slepian Wolf style result for HSS, uh, which gives us a nonlinear uh, an HSS with nonlinear reconstruction and uh, negligible error probability, uh, and applying it to a one private cell, one private free server HSS for the end of two bits, uh, we can obtain a rate which is strictly higher than one third, and an HSS for end is useful for applications such as private set intersection. Finally, as a bonus feature, uh, we obtain, uh, we show that this HSS for end uh, exhibits symmetric privacy. And this is without needing to share, uh, to re-randomize re the output shares. Now here, symmetric privacy means that the output shares reveal only f of x and nothing else. And the usual way to obtain symmetric privacy uh, when considering HSS schemes is just to re-randomize the output shares. For example, by adding a fresh sharing of zero to the output shares. But this, of course, destroys any hope uh, of uh, 
allowing some sort of compression. And here we show that this HSS we consider somehow enjoys the best of both worlds in that it can both be compressed and it satisfies symmetric privacy. Now, uh, in the rest of the talk, I'll just uh, discuss uh, some ideas uh, regarding the download rate of HSS for low degree polynomials. So consider uh, the problem of HSS for L concatenation. So here we have uh, L users and each user has some data XI, which it signatures among the servers. And the task uh, that we want to perform is to have the output client recover all the inputs uh, given all the output shares. Of course, uh, we want each server to learn. Uh, if we consider T privacy, we want uh, the servers to, a T collusion of the servers to not learn uh, anything about the inputs. And one uh, central tool uh, for this construction is the so called T private case server CNF secret sharing. So this secret sharing is done as follows. Suppose we additively share some secret and the number of additive shares uh, corresponds to the number of T-sized subsets of the indices 1 to K, where K is the number of servers. And then uh, each server J receives all the shares associated with sets which don't contain its index J. This is an example of a linear uh, secret sharing scheme. Uh, and, but uh, of course this has bad information rate in that uh, to just uh, share one secret, uh, each server needs to receive roughly K choose T uh, field elements. Uh, nevertheless, uh, CNF secret sharing is useful for us due to its so-called universality. And what do I mean by that? I mean the following theorem by Kramer, Dunger, and Ishai from uh, 2005, where they show that any T private CNF sharing of X can be locally converted to a, a T private sharing of X over any linear secret sharing scheme. And in this work, we uh, make a simple extension to this theorem by showing that any individual T private CNF sharing of L secrets can be locally converted to a joint, to any joint T private linear multi secret sharing scheme of all the secrets. And note that this already implies HSS for concatenation, given that we find a linear multi secret sharing with good rate. So this uh, becomes uh, our goal, and indeed, uh, there is a theorem by Gamel and uh, Mangal from 2010 where they construct a linear multi secret sharing scheme over a field F, where each share is a single element of the field with K servers, L secrets, T privacy, and information rate L over K. Uh, they show that this exists if and only if there is a linear code with parity matrix H uh, so that. Uh, this code has distance uh, at least t plus one and uh, rate uh, at least l over k. And uh, as, a, as an extension, uh, we show an extension of this uh, where each shell is a vector uh, over uh, f of size b. And using this, uh, we can show uh, the following theorem, which says that there is a T private case server linear HSS for L concatenation with output shares over F of B and download rate L over K uh, B. Uh, here linear means uh, that the shared reconstruction algorithms are linear. We show that such an HSS exists if and only if there is an F linear code uh, over F B to the K with distance at least T plus one and rate at least L uh, over K B. And for the if direction of this theorem, uh, the output, the, sorry, the input shares of the HSS are CNF uh, input shares. And uh, instantiating this theorem with Peck Shamir, we showed that there is a, it implies there is a T private case of a linear HSS for L concatenation, 
uh, with output shells over uh, the field F and download rate y minus uh, T over K. Of course, here we need to assume that the field size is at least uh, the size of the number of servers. Now, uh, uh, this was HSS for concatenation, and the question is how can we uh, construct? So, HSS for concatenation in particular can be shown to imply HSS for degree one polynomials. And now, this begs the question uh, how to construct an HSS for uh, degree d polynomials, where d is greater than one. And the main observation here is that CNF sharing is multiplicative. So it means that you can locally convert T private CNF sharings of these secrets to a TD private CNF sharing of their product. So in the following example, we convert two private sharings of A, B, and C to a six private sharing of their product. And as a conclusion, it implies there is a T private K server HSS for degree D polynomials with CNF input shells and download rate mine minus DT over K. This is by just combining the multiplicativity, the multiplicative property of CNF sharing uh, with uh, HSS for concatenation. Now, uh, the downside of using CNF is that the input shell size uh, is large. Uh, and one uh, possible way to mitigate this is to try and use Shamir's secret sharing instead, where each uh, shell is just a single field element. And indeed, it is also well known that Shamir's secret sharing is multiplicative, so, the, so we only need to be able to construct an HSS for concatenation for Shamir's secret sharing. And then uh, this leads us to the problem of finding a linear multi secret sharing with good rate to which we can convert our Shamir shares to. And one idea here is to use regenerating grid Solomon codes which uh, are essentially uh, Shamir, are equivalent to Shamir's uh, secret sharing. So here uh, we have a code word and one uh, node uh, is missing and we want to recover uh, the value of this node uh, by downloading as little information as possible uh, from all the other nodes. Uh, however, unfortunately, uh, we cannot use off the shelf regenerating codes and uh, more discussion on that uh, in the paper, but essentially it follows because the regenerating codes uh, uh, needs, need to recover uh, all possible nodes, and we only care about uh, some specific nodes which hold our secrets. But nevertheless, we can adapt ideas from the regenerating codes literature, and uh, as a result, we get a construction which is simpler than the regenerating code uh, construction. So uh, in conclusion, we get a T private K server HSS for degree D polynomials with Shamir input shells and download rate, which is one minus DT over K. And uh, comparing uh, this scheme to uh, the CNF based one, obviously Shamir has better input shell size by a factor of roughly K choose T. Uh, on the upside, CNF is simpler, and also we show in the paper that CNF exists for more parameter regimes. And uh, this is all for my talk, so thank you. <laughs>